Hello folks, glad you could make it. Uh, we got about an hour to do this music and uh, have this little concert here, so we're gonna get right to it. Starting off things with a couple of fiddle tunes. Jenny's Got a Nickel, uh, preceded by Fiddle and D. along the way and there's some of them who just don't care about a whole lot of anything and that's kind of what that song was about. Well, we also uh, know what happens when the gate gets left open. Yep, and that too. <laughs> Not a good thing. All right. This is a song that Tom and I did many years ago when we first met and uh, I was learning how to play the mountain dulcimer. It was one of the first songs we did together. 
called Slow Train Through Georgia, yep. Norman Blake song. It was a song that was precious to me because uh, it was about hopping a freight train and going south, and as far south as it would go. And you're probably <laughs> scratching your head wondering how he's in New York all these years later. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh, 
favorites here, Hawks and Eagles and Spotted Pony. For more reasons, just playing the tunes. We love the Hawks and the Eagles that live in the valley here with us. And of course we have some Spotted Ponies out in the barnyard. There you go. Indeed we do.
All right, this is a, uh, a song that I love from, uh, learned from Jean Ritchie, the uh, mother of the dulcimer. She brought it to another level, and I had a wonderful opportunity to meet her many years ago at the uh, Housatonic Dulcimer Festival. Over in Connecticut. That's right. Who knows where Housatonic is? Some people do. <laughs> Okay, so... Called Mother in Bright Glory. <clears throat>
arrangement come from? Oh, that was the Red Winged Blackbird. Actually, it was going across the sea and then to a Red Winged Blackbird. Um, Red Winged Blackbird was inspired mm -hmm. a few years ago when the uh, they came back in the snow. Mm. There you go. We felt bad for Last them, but year. we were very happy to see them. <laughs> All right. Let's go on to the All tribute right. to the Schoharie Valley. True. Okay. Another couple of t fiddle tunes that came out of Tom. Hmm. Uh, that happens a lot around here. So uh, these two are called speckled trout. Speckled trout is uh, basically what skinnevis means, I believe, in Mohawk. Um, and uh, he was chief. Actually, there's a, as most people that are local here know, that there's a, a diner, a town, a lake, and a stream named after him. So he was a, a mighty uh, chief of the Scoharies. And uh, the next tune is called uh, the Mighty Scoharie, which could be taken three ways. The river for itself and for anybody who has kayaked or canoed down it. Um, and the, uh, the valley itself and uh, the chief and his, his band. His band. So here we go, the speckled trout. <laughs> Thank you. 
going down to Schoharie on a spring fresh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well now, let's take it a little further into the Native American territory. Okay, this is a song that uh, I learned from uh, Therese Bear Fox uh, from the Akwesasne Women Singers. And uh, they were over at the Waterfall House a while back and uh, heard this song and I said, wow, I really like this song. And uh, I also uh, co-founded a ladies hand drum group with my friend Brenda LaForme from the Iroquois Indian Museum and uh, we adopted this song as one of the songs that we do with the ladies drum group. So this is for all you ladies um, that were in the group and, uh, and it's our also precious mothers. for all of our mothers. It's called Precious Mothers. <clears throat> Oh, my mother, I'm so sorry for the pain that you've been through. Now that I'm older and I am wiser, I'm gonna take good care of you. I'm so sorry for the times that I did not show respect. And I allowed myself and others to put our problems upon your back. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo ho e a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo we a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he. When I see a starlit night, I seek the one that shines real bright. And I think about you, Mother, and I hope that you're all right. I finally opened up my eyes, and I've come to realize I appreciate your guidance, and I'm glad you're in my life. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo ho e a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo we a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he. Oh Mother Earth, we're so sorry. For the pain that you've been through But now that we're older and we are wiser We're gonna take good care of you We're so sorry for the times That we did not show respect And we allowed ourselves and others To put our garbage on our turtles back Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo ho e a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo we a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he. We know that you are trying to continue to provide. For all your children, you take care of your trying hard to help us survive. We are the Onkwe Hongwe, we're the caretakers of the earth. We must take care of our life sustainers, our precious mothers who gave us birth. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo ho e a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he a. Yo ha yo we a he. Yo ha yo ho e a he. When I see a starlit night, I seek the one that shines real bright. And I think of our precious mothers, and I hope that they're all right. Oh. All 
All right, moving right along here. Okay. Let's get into some more Appalachian fiddle stuff. We're going to go from the West Fork girls to the minor incident that they encountered somewhere along the way. <laughs> Another one of Tom's creations, minor incident. Right, so West Fork girls is a traditional Appalachian tune, and then we'll go into one that we put together we call minor incident. We don't know exactly what that is, but it sounds like it could be questionable. But I can assure you, the girls did just fine. You'll find out at the end of the tune how it all turned out okay. Ready?
call it minor incident because it went into a minor key. But it sounded real mysterious. Yeah. Okay. Let's sing about one of my favorite places. Well, maybe not one of my favorite places, but it's an interesting place in, in that it's... Um, it's, uh, the name of this town is in two different states. One's in Missouri and one is in Illinois. And I suppose because of the way the, the song moves, they must be coming down at least from Cincinnati and heading towards the Mississippi. Uh, and they're heading towards Shawneetown. And probably the difference between the Shawneetown in, Mississippi, uh, in Missouri and the Shawneetown in Illinois is one is... Shawnee Town, and the other is Shawnee, or Shawnee Town. <laughs> but in order to get to the second Shawnee Town in Missouri, you have to go all the way to the Mississippi, yeah. hang a right, which will take you north, and go another hundred miles before you get to that one. So, anyway, who cares? This one's straight down. <laughs> this one's straight down the <laughs> Ohio, and it's... Easier done than said. <laughs> Wrap your head around that one, right? And if you've ever looked at it on a map, the Ohio River has a lot of twisty, windy little places, and you can imagine how long it must have took and how uh, the challenges of getting a, a, a large raft or barge full of trade goods down that river all the way to Shawnee Town. So. Here we go. Yeah. 
and the air is cold and dank, and the cursed fog, it is so thick that you cannot see the bank, and it's hard on the beach, or she moves too slow, way down to Shawnee Town, on the old high that were right from the Schoharie Valley, invented here, put together here, and you heard some stuff from, well, you heard a little bit about Missouri, but mm -hmm. more about Illinois, Illinois. <laughs> and other places in between. Okay, we're gonna tone things down. I think here. the West Fork girls were down from somewhere in like North Carolina or Virginia, actually, so. Okay. We heard about Georgia, too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Time. Yeah, time to slow things down a little bit. Uh, this is a tune that came to me after the, uh, the loss of a friend. And uh, many, many years have gone by since then. So the longer you're here on this planet, the more friends and family you lose. So while we're playing, think of somebody that's crossed over. You just hold them dear.
Till we meet again. Okay. Well, we're just about out of time, so we want to wrap things up with one last song that we hopeful hope will be meaningful to everybody. This is a song that uh, it sort of found us. I'm not exactly sure how we stumbled onto it, but we did, and then when we did, it wouldn't leave us alone. Um, we kept on saying, you know, thinking of it. You know, you, you travel around, you do things here and there, and that song is just in your head. So we decided to um, do our version of it. It's a song called um, Saints and Sinners by a songwriter, Scottish, Canadian, David Francie. And, uh, he has many beautiful songs, but this is the one that grabbed us.
Thanks for stopping by. Good night.